everyone, I'm Sabhita from grade 6 and today I'm going to tell all of you about the pinhole camera. I hope it's going to be fun and interesting. So, let's begin. Before we start, let's see today's aims. The first thing we're going to do is about what is a pinhole camera, its principle, working and more information about it, how to make a pinhole camera and how to use it, and its advantages and disadvantages. So, let's begin. The first thing we're going to see is what is a pinhole camera. So, all of you might be wondering that what do you mean by a pinhole camera? Let's see. A pinhole camera is a very simple camera without any lens but with a tiny aperture, effectively a light proof box with a small hole in one side producing an image on the other side. So, when light is reflected on an outer object, it forms an inverted and diminished figure on the inner translucent screen. As you can see here, the balloon is my outer object and this box is my pinhole camera. So, when light is reflected on the balloon, the light rays that is reflected passes through the tiny hole in the pinhole camera and then an diminished and inverted image is reflected on the inner translucent screen. Now, what if the hole in the pinhole camera is big? The image on the translucent screen that is formed will be blur. And what if the hole is small? The image formed on the translucent screen will be clear. So make sure that whenever you have a pinhole camera, its hole is always small. Now let's move on to the characteristics of the image formed. First. It is inverted, which means it is upside down. Next, it is real, which means it cannot be formed on any screen like a random wall. And it is diminished, which means it is smaller than the object but has the same color. Friends, always make sure that the image formed on the inner translucent screen is not the shadow of the object. It is the image, it is the real image itself. Friends, have you ever wondered why is the image formed upside down or inverted on the inner translucent screen? Hmm, have you ever wondered? Okay, so I'll tell why is the image formed inverted on the inner translucent screen. For now, assume that this box is my pinhole camera and the arrow is my object. So, over here the red rays is pointed and reflected towards the top of the arrow and the green rays is reflected towards the bottom of the arrow. When both the rays come and meet at the hole in the pinhole camera, they exchange their places which means their places get inverted. And that is why the green rays go to the top and the red rays go to the bottom. Hence forming the object inverted on the inner translucent screen. Let's move on to the next topic, that is, what is the principle of a pinhole camera? Let's see what is the principle. First, it is camera obscura, which means light travels through a small hole into a dark box to form a picture. And it's the same signs used even in today's cameras. Next, the rectilinear propagation of light. Pinhole cameras rely on the fact that light travels in a straight line. As the light travels in the straight line, that's why this principle applies over here. Let's move on to the next topic that is, how to make a pinhole camera. I hope it's going to be really fun now. Step number one, it's time to collect all your materials. So here you will need a black chart of 22 of 26 by 22 centimeters and a 15 by 13 centimeters black chart. You will also need an 8 by 8 centimeters black chart and a 5 by 5 centimeters butter paper. If you don't have butter paper, you can use any other translucent screen. Also, if you don't have any translucent screen, what you can do is take a A4 sheet and apply some oil on it so that it becomes translucent. Next, you will need a pair of scissors, a few rubber bands, cello tape, a pencil and a scale and a board pin. If you want, you can also keep 
color papers with you to decorate your pinhole camera at the end. So, let's move on to the second step. In step number 2, what you need to do is with the 26 by 22 uh, centimeters long sheet, you need to make a roll and with the 15 by 13 centimeters long sheet, you'll have to make a smaller roll. Make sure your small roll fits into the larger roll so that your pinhole camera is made easily. Step number 3. What you need to do is with the 8 by 8 centimeters chart, cover it with cover the larger roll using the 8 by 8 centimeters chart and cover the smaller roll with the 5 by 5 centimeters butter paper or translucent sheet. Step number 4. You can use any adhesive like tape, fevicol or rubber bands to stick them. But make sure that light doesn't pass through any of the screens. Step number 5. What you need to do is take a board pin and make a hole in the larger roll so that very little amount of light passes. I have made a really tiny hole using a board pin in my larger roll. Step number 6. Maximize your creativity and decorate your pinhole camera the way you want. And ta-da! Here we are done with the pinhole camera. I hope your pinhole camera has come up really well. Now let's see how to use this simple easy pinhole camera. Take your big cylinder and your small cylinder. Now place your small cylinder inside your big cylinder so that it can move back and forth and form a perfect focus on the light. Now point your pinhole camera towards the light source. As you can see that I am pointing towards a lamp and the lamp is over there, the place where I am pointing. Now, did you see a clear image? Let's see. As you can see, this tiny light source, the tiny thing that's lighting, lightning in the pinhole camera is the inverted lamp. Yes, can you see it? That is the inverted and diminished form of the lamp that we all were viewing. I'll share the image of the pinhole camera's image and the lamp in the next slide. Let's move on to the pros and cons of the pinhole camera. First, we'll move on with the advantages, that is the merits. They don't require any lens and they're able to come in a wide range of sizes including small and discreet. Also, they can be dis disguised as a variety of other objects such as pens, headphones or even glass frames. Now, let's move on to the disadvantages or the demerits. The image formed does not give any details, there is no permanent record of the image and the pinhole camera cannot be used for studying moving objects. I hope you are clear with the advantages and the disadvantages of the pinhole camera. Thank you, I hope you liked the video and enjoyed making the pinhole camera. Please like, comment, share, subscribe.